As an instructor, one of the things I use in Packet Tracer is the ability to illustrate the contents of a packet as it goes through the network instead of just showing connectivity. This ping packet going from one host to the other is indicated as successful, but doesn't really tell us much beyond that. Packet Tracer's simulation mode allows you to see the contents of a packet as it goes from one end to the other. Switching to simulation mode, I will initiate the same ping from the same host to the same destination, only this time we'll stop it along the way and see what information is available for the students. By initiating the capture forward command, the packet moves up to the first device, which is a switch. And by highlighting the packet, we can see what the contents of the headers are. Now, a switch is a layer two device, so the only information we'll get from the layer two, or is the layer two information, in this case, MAC addresses. And you can show the students that the switch does not change MAC addresses, it merely passes them through. The source and destination MAC addresses remain the same. By closing this down and moving on, we'll advance the packet to the next device, which is a router. Again, we'll open the contents of the packet. And since a router is a layer three device, we will also get layer three information, the IP addresses. The IP addresses remain the same as the packet traverses all the way from the source to the destination host. However, this illustrates that the layer two addresses, the MAC address, has changed to the HDLC addresses necessary to go across the serial link. These concepts are sometimes hard to understand unless you can actually see them happening as they go through the network. And Packet Tracer makes it very easy to demonstrate this to the students. We move forward to the next router and open this packet. It'll look very similar to the previous packet, except we're switching the layer two from HDLC over to the MAC address for the final delivery. And again, notice that the IP addresses haven't changed. Source and destination IPs remain the same throughout the entire network. We'll close this and advance the packet to its last and final destination, the final host, and open the packet one last time. What this will show is that the last delivery was done with MAC addresses only, and that the packet has been configured to be returned to its original sending host. You'll notice the MAC addresses here are just for this network segment. They are not the same as the MAC addresses that were used in the first transition over the first Ethernet. Packet Tracer allows you to show your students the packet information as it goes from one end to the other, a very powerful teaching tool.